Hi, this is how to file for divorce.org and we're going to show you how to file for divorce in the state of Tennessee. But this is only for married couples without minor children and no property or you don't own a business together. So, getting started. You want to come to this webpage and you want to download the Tennessee divorce papers. Now, if you don't know uh, what divorce papers are, it's just all the required forms to divorce. And you have two options. You can download the free blank Tennessee divorce papers just by clicking on this link. They'll be brought to this page where you just have to click right here and you'll get a zip file of all these forms. Or you can do option B, which is have the divorce papers filled in for you. Now it's a $299 professional service, but they'll guarantee that they'll fill in all the forms for you just by typing in basic information like your address and social security number and things like that. So whether you get your div uh, divorce papers from option A or B, you can move on to step two. The spouse that has decided to file for divorce must complete the following forms and be sure to have them filed with the clerk, uh, clerk's office in the county where you reside. Now, if you don't know where your clerk's office is, just click on this link right here. We have a list of the clerks. And you'll have to file these three forms and pay the filing fee. And you may want to ask the clerk uh, exactly what the fee is so you can have a check ready. Um, and if you can't afford the filing fee, then you can download this form right here. Now, step three, you'll have to meet with your spouse in order to fill out the following forms. And this is really the most important one, which is the divorce agreement. Now, if you can get through this form, the rest of your divorce is going to be very easy because this is the form that where you're going to go over who gets what assets, debt, um, the car, property, all that stuff is going to get discussed and negotiated in this. So once you both sign this, pretty much smooth sailing the rest of the way. Now the spouse that did the filing in step two must also file these above forms with the clerk and fill out the divorce certificate form while at the clerk's office. So you'll have to wait 60 days from the date you filed the forms in step two. So don't worry if uh, you're taking a little bit of time on this divorce agreement. You have 60 days uh, from when you can pretty much file it anyway. So um, you can negotiate a little bit. Anyway, step four. At this time, you'll have to call the clerk's office and schedule a court hearing date. You may have to file the notice of hearing to approve, and it goes on and on, and send a copy to your spouse when the date has been registered. So basically, once you get your court hearing date, you may have to file this form and send a copy to your spouse once you get notice uh, or you know of your court hearing date. So step five, you'll just have to go to your court hearing. And remember these right hearings, as long as you all agree to everything, these hearings don't take more than 15, 20 minutes. You just kind of walk in. The judge will just stamp your final divorce order and that's it, you're divorced in the state of Tennessee. Now just remember that either spouse in order to get divorced must be a resident for at least six months and the only cause for divorce is irreconcilable differences. And a divorce usually takes about six months. And that's it. That is how you file for divorce in the state of Tennessee.